All right, this is Chip Desart. I'm going to go through a quick multicam tutorial. So, shot this footage the other day of Alexi Alexandra Arnold. So, first thing, I imported all these files, so you'll see all these files here. And I'm real big on organization. I'm not going to go uh, through how I organize my files, but um, so in a keyword, I'm just going to type Lexi here so I can just get all of her files. And then what I can do, once I have that, I can always do a new keyword collection or smart collection and just call this Lexi. Actually, I didn't mean to do that yet, but um, when I click up here, that's how you create something called a new smart collection. All right, I can delete that, but I, I want to click there and then um, we'll do that and then we will call it Lexi. Organization is real key in Final Cut Pro 10. You have to be able to find your files. So instead of looking through these files right here with other folks, I just want to see this right here with Lexi. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do with Multicam, I'm going to go ahead and um, show angles. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to select all three of these, right click, hit New Multicam Clip. And I'm just going to type Lexi here. And we're going to leave everything uh, normal. Then it's going to synchronize the angles. I only have two angles, so it's pretty easy to do this multicam clip. But then it's going to give me a new clip right here. Alrighty, so let me close out these windows so I have a little bit more space to show you what we're going to do here. Alright, so this is the main clip right here and how it goes. So what I want to make sure, I want to make sure I have this this selected. Now, I want this as my main audio track. I don't want to use this as my audio track, and I want to switch from back and forth. So I'm going to click here, make sure this is selected in the middle, click here, make sure this is green, because if this is not green, you will not have the proper audio track. So you want to make sure that this is your video. Blue is for video, green is for audio. If you wanted to switch something else to be audio, I would click there and see how that goes to audio but I run this as my audio, so green audio. All right, you have that. So what I'm going to do now is look through here, and then I'm just going to hit an in and an out point. I think she does it twice. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead. It's a really short clip. And actually, let me just do this. And let's listen to what she has to say. Alexandra Arnold and today is my first time using my Canon TI-5. I'm so excited to be used. So I think I stopped her there. Hi, my name is Alexandra Arnold. Okay, so we're going to just do an out right there because I see that we finished it right about there. And I'm going to hit W to just put in that timeline. So it's basically 30 seconds. So what we're going to do is... Hi, my name is Alexandra Arnold, and today is my first time using my Canon T5i. My instructor, Chip Desart, has been showing me all of the ins and outs of it, I'm and switching. I'm so excited to be using this camera. For a while now, I've been using a Nikon, but the things that I like about the Canon are just the clarity of it and the fact that there's a lot of touch screen sensitive buttons that help you to navigate through it a lot quicker than I've been able to do in the past. So I'm really excited to try this camera and to learn about it more so that I can do better videos on YouTube. Okay, so that's a quick 30 second. Great job, Alex. I'll um, be 30 seconds, and I just switched back and forth. So all I did was, while she's talking, I just went back and forth, switched before, between camera one and camera th uh, two here. All right, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, add some polish to it because the cameras are so different. So I'm just going to go on Final Cut Pro 10 here and add some polish to it. And what I mean by polish is that I'm, this is so bright. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a filter on that. And I just like the bleach bypass filter. So we're going to just throw that on there. So it looks looks a little different than each of the sets. And then we can go under here. And then I, I can change the amount of bleach bypass that I have on that. So I can change it down to that or... Match iMovie if I wanted to, you know. So, and what I like about that one, let, let's just let's let's watch this. Let's watch this big, better. The bigger. ins and outs of it, and I'm so excited to be using this nah, camera. I don't like For that. For a while one. now, I've been 
and this one is so dark so I don't want it to be such a contrast so I'm going to go back and um, just match this real quick let's bleach bypass filter let's watch the ins and outs of it and I'm so excited to be using this camera for a while now I've been using a Nikon but the okay so this is just purely on what you want and, um, you know, I, this is a little dark, so I'm going to go in here under color and match that up and just um, go under my um, exposure and give it a little bit more. Let's do this. There it is. That's a little better. So here's what I, another thing I want to show you. See how that looks better than that. That's a little dark. I just gave a little bit more uh, color. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to hit copy. And then I want to go here. And I want to hit uh, paste uh, attributes or paste effects. So when I do paste effects, it goes there and it matches. See, that doesn't match. So I'll go right here and hit paste effects. And that one matches. And I'm going to take the bleach bypass because it's kind of um, paste effects here. Right, there she is. So I'm going to just take the bleach bypass off right here because I don't like how that looks so I'm just going to take that off the camera and it already has like a washed out look so you know we can just even leave it like that just show that the match you get a camera so go right there you know it's a different look and it's fine and you see behind the scenes of the camera so that's how you do a quick hi my name is so I'm gonna I'm going to go ahead here and hit Command T. That's my shortcut to uh, do a transition. Hi, my name is Alexandra Arnold, and today is my. So, um, and this is just some continuity of editing things. I'm not gonna cut in the middle of her speaking. Hi, my name is Alexandra Arnold, and. So when she says Arnold, I'm gonna cut to the to the other camera. Just tighten that. Hi, my name is Alexandra Arnold, and today is See. my first time using my Canon T5i. All right, so then T5i, I can I can start right there, and with a multicam, you can always go back and fix things. See, I'm just dragging. My instructor Chip Bizarre has been showing me all of the ins and outs of it, and I'm so excited to be using this camera. Okay, so she's so excited to be using this camera. So then I'm going to cut right there. I'm just I'm just really just dragging. The footage only, okay? So excited to be using this camera. For a while now, I've been using it. And remember, I'm using the microphone audio. All right, I'm using the microphone audio. And the fact that, or just the clarity of it, and the fact that there's a lot of. All right, I'm not going to worry about that. And uh, what we're going to do is. Yeah, so I'm really excited to try this camera. Okay. Uh, let's see. And to learn about. Let's see. On YouTube. On YouTube. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to hit Command T and just fade Better out. Better videos on YouTube. All right. I fade out a little bit quick. Sorry. I'm just really particular with edits. And I've got to get them right. More so that I can do better videos on YouTube. Okay. Great. So uh, one other thing I want to show you. I just used a, can a Rode um, Smart Lock for this. If I didn't, it would sound like this. And the buttons on the, on the camera make it so... Yeah. <laughs> my first time... You okay, and then this is my camera in the back. Good, just go ahead. You did. Yeah, no, it's okay. First time using my Canon T5i. So, that camera, audio natural. And, of course, this camera, audio... No, almost like it. Ready? Here we go. Well, now I've been using a Nikon, but the things that I... So, you got to have good audio, first thing. Um, I teach people that you have to plan what you're going to say. Uh, Lexi did an excellent job here. Um, you got to plan what you're going to say. Make sure your framing is right. And this second camera is not as important. I just kind of just framed it up. I just left that one with good headroom. But I just did this as a behind the scenes so you can just see another angle. And uh, I used the multi-cam from Final Cut Pro. And then you can edit this. I'm going to put music on the background of this. And then maybe a lower third just polish so the first thing is organization second thing is choose your audio make sure you have the the blue and the and the green and the blue make sure this is selected for multi-cab and then add your polish color correction audio uh, proof it 
going to export it. Take care.